Hey guys, and welcome to another Marvel video. Today we're doing the 10 things that you probably didn't know about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. In number one, we have the dodge is immortal. You can dodge attacks, go right through lasers, any kind of attack, and you will not get injured at all, except for lasers. Lasers from walls and, and those stupid wall, you know, gymnastic stuff that does still hurt you so you can't dodge through there but any lasers that bosses shoot at you or attacks or punches or big you know aoe splashes of damage or shock waves you can just roll at the right time press your dodge button the l button and you can dodge right through it without getting a single piece of damage on you number two is ability gems run out when you level all your heroes to 100 if you haven't finished the game yet if you haven't found all your treasures that means you actually cannot level all your heroes abilities to maximum so you kind of got to finish the game and find all the treasures. You want all heroes, all, all their abilities maxed out. In number three, there are four difficulties. This is friendly, mighty, which basically shared the same storyline, by the way, and the same treasures. Then there is superior, ultimate, and these come with five different rift sections. And these are gamma, psi, sigma, lambda, and Omega as your final rift. Number four, there are actually undefeatable enemies that you can actually get rewards for for actually beating. You know, certain levels where there are enemies that are way too strong, but if you actually manage to defeat them, you get rewards from it. It's amazing. Like, it, the crap is hard though, especially in ultimate difficulty, but you still get rewards from it. Unique rewards for each difficulty you do them in as well. Number five, ISO 8 rainbow gems actually are color-coded to show you which class that they pulled their bonuses from. If it's blue, it's from the energy kind of gems, the blue gems. If it's red, it's from your vitality gems, and, and so forth. You can see there's a little marker at the bottom of all your rainbow gems, basically. It tells you which, which if ability bonuses it's, it's adding on. In number six, there are ISO 8 crystals out there that give you experience for leveling up your heroes by hundreds of percentages. This can be solo gems, which are the blue ones, or team experience gems, which are the white ones, or even both on your rainbow gems, which are n undoubtedly very, very rare to find to level up your heroes. Number seven, you can only have a maximum of a thousand ISO 8 crystals, and this means you have to constantly go back and deconstruct them, so you probably already figured this out. Number eight, after finishing the superior difficulty, you will unlock a fifth boost to your abilities. Usually your abilities will have four boosts, but on your fifth one, you actually get a, a, a an extra boost unlocked right after you beat superior difficulty. When you check your save game, you'll see there are stars under your save, right, right next to it there in the corner. Basically, these signify six different things. So you can actually collect a full six set of them. Six of them, one for defeating the game on Friendly, one for defeating the game on Superior, one for defeating the game on Ultimate, one for finishing all the Rifts, one for leveling all your heroes to 100, and I believe the final one is for collecting all the treasures or actually boosting all your heroes' abilities to max. It's one of those two. I actually haven't figured that out yet, but it's definitely one of those. I believe it's the treasures. Number 10, you can unlock your fourth ISO 8 slot quite easily by unlocking these specific nodes on each of your hexagons marked with these weird like circle outlines specifically. There's three on each node. And once you have unlocked them all, you'll get your fourth ISO 8 slot before even completing all of your hexagons. So those are 10 things you probably didn't know about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Which one of these didn't you know, and which things do you think I may have left out? Leave a comment below and a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Marvel video.